Hey, what's cracking everybody? Today I'm making a video on the update on Linux Hub Prime. We are now going to be switching to uh, version 3.0.4. And with this version, there are a few changes on the installer. You can see there's some more options right here. So the username, password, and root password are still the same. On the login, on the select AR helper, I put all as the default. But you know, if you just want to select one of them, or if you don't want to select any of them, you can still use that option. And our install method is the same. But also right here, I've introduced install NVIDIA drivers. So if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you can now select the uh, NVIDIA drivers. And then also added a LibreOffice on here. So if you want to install LibreOffice, you can do that. And I also added a, a gaming helpers. So, you know, for Proton, Vulkan, and, uh, you know, Lutris, Steam, get all that set up. So let's run through a quick installation, get it going, and then you can see how everything works. So the main thing right here that I want to show you also is that uh, we're going to go through a Hyperland installation, and I'm going to show you how to get some uh, dot files set up quick and easy. All right, so right here, uh, I won't bore you with the whole installation. We've seen this uh, plenty of times. It's on plenty of my videos. Obviously, everything right here is still the same. You just have to basically edit these three options and install. But I also, uh, if you want to edit any of these other options, by any means, you can do that also. All right, so right here, I'll pause the video. And then when we reboot, uh, we are going to be on the Hyperland desktop and I'm going to go through the uh, dot file installer. All right. So just hang tight there. All right. So I've installed the uh, Hyperland desktop environment or window manager, window manager, if that's what you want to call it. So when you come to this screen right here, you have to change this hyperlink just to single, just to hyperlink right here. So you have to use the bottom one and then you enter your password to log in. I don't know why it does that. I think it has something to do with Wayland and something like that, but you know, I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure why it does that. So right now the way hyperlink is set up is the way it comes out of the box. This is the way it comes out of the box and this is what you're presented with. So let me go ahead and close this uh, screen and you get a little message right here that Hyperland updated to 0.46.2. And if you want to donate to them or just thanks, that's fine. OK, and the way my panel is set up is uh, I have the Rofi menu. And then if you right click on the same button, it'll open up the uh, file manager. So these that have a slash like two names. The left click is going to open up one and the right click is going to go open up another. But, you know, if you're uh, if you're someone that, uh, you know, works with the uh, with Hyperland, then, you know, pretty much how it works. So, you know, like I said, that's why these uh, desktop environments, window managers had the warning because they're different than your standard desktop environments. All right. But anyways, if you're on Hyperland, it assumes that you know what you're doing. So. I'm just going to leave it at that. All right. So on this video, I want to show you how to install these dot files that I've added to the to a certain script. So uh, first, let me open up a web terminal. And we'll take a look at the first dot file, and it's going to be the well, my Linux for work dot files. All right. And this is pretty much it right here. It's the dot files for Hyperland. And uh, they're like this, my Linux for work dot files. And this is the one that I've downloaded and I've uh, got it up in a script. Well, I, had, I didn't actually download it. So the script's gonna do the whole GitHub thing. And then another one is gonna be the, I don't know if I pronounced this right, it's Jacool Lit. And these are also a set of dot files for Hyperland. So these two I've added. There's plenty out there that you can download and use, but I just went with these two because they're simple and straightforward. You know, uh, they are interactive, so you will have to react in a terminal, like type it in Y and things like that. But for the most part, if you're if you're a Hyperland user, you pretty much know what you're doing. At least at least I'm assuming that. So uh, 
just want to show you that these dot files that could be configured right here on the top so right here there's a button that says config if you click on that it opens up this so right here you can edit your hyperland config your wallpaper config your waybar config your waybar css that's for this right here just so you know if you install the the ml 4 w dot files or the jacolit dot files it's going to change everything up okay so uh in this sample let's do the jacolit dot files and you can see right here it says requires yay or paru so during installation i'm going to assume that you installed the uh the uh, aur helpers if not then you have to have yay or paru installed so let's do the jacol so we'll click on that we'll close this for now and it says welcome to the jacol's arch hyperland install script attention run a full system update and reboot first highly recommended uh, you don't need to do that because when you first install the uh, Linux Hub Prime, it does all that for you. All right. So right here, would you like to proceed? You just type in Y. All right. Choosing Y on use preset questions when install also NVIDIA stuff. This is in a virtual machine, so I don't need NVIDIA. So I'll just select no. Uh, action type AUR helper. So on this one, I, select, I installed all of them. But on this, I'm just going to select yay. And do you have any NVIDIA GPU in your system? No. All right. And, you know, it's going to be yes, no, yes, no for a few questions. So you just follow through. Do I want to configure Bluetooth? No. Uh, do you want to install Thunar File Manager? Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, install and configure SDM Login Manager plus optional SDM theme. Yes. Uh, install STG Desktop Portal Hyperland for proper screen share. And nah, I don't need that. Uh, install ZSH on my ZSH. I don't need that. Maybe you do. So you would type in Y. Installing in AOS ROG laptops. No. Uh, do you want to download pre configured Hyperland dot files? Yes. And pretty much uh, enter your passwords. You're going to have to enter it a few times. So, you know, you just go through the whole installation and, you know, it's a pretty standard process. All right. So for right now, uh, and also be aware that uh, after you install these dot files, you are required to reboot your system. So I'm going to pause the video now and then I'll come back once it's ready for me to reboot. All right. And the script is now finished. And like I said, everything's interactive on here. So you will have to type yes to a lot of things. Yes or no. Well, not yes, just Y or N. So we're going to go ahead and reboot and uh, take a look at uh, Hyperland with the dot files, the Jakulit dot files. All right, the system is now rebooted, and this is what the login manager looks like now. So from right here, just type in your password. And that's how it looks now. So this is the Jacolit dot files that we installed. And you can see right here, you got uh, this wallpaper, the panels change, everything's changed on it. So for those of you that like tinkering with this kind of stuff, this is what it would look like. So I also have the my Linux for work dot files. So I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall and show you how to get that one installed. And uh, we'll take a look and see how that one looks. So I'll pause the video now and uh, reinstall the system and then we'll do the my Linux for work or for yeah my Linux for work uh, dot files. OK, so I've rebooted the system so we can have a fresh page set up, well, not fresh page, but the fresh system set up. So let me close this, let me close this, go back into config and then I'm going to install the install ML for W dot files, my Linux for work. So we'll go ahead and get it started. Just click on it. Then you can close this window. And just as before, it's going to ask you, do you want to start the installation? Well, you have to type in Y and then uh, it asks for your password. So remember, these are interactive. You're going to have to deal with them. So, you know, you could go, you could go away from the screen for a little bit, but you'll have to come back eventually to uh, get into the installer to complete. So right now I have to press enter. So right now I'll go ahead and I'll pause the video 
and let it all finish installing and then we'll we will reboot into it so we can see what uh my linux for work dot files look like okay we finished installing the my linux for work dot files i've rebooted the system and this is how sddm looks now so let's go ahead and log in All right, you can see right here all the changes. You get a welcome screen with some, uh, you know, keyboard uh, shortcuts. So uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, fix the uh, display settings first. All right, I rebooted the system and now the uh, display is correct. So if you uh, install the My Linux for Work uh, dot files, just keep that in mind. You're gonna have to fix your display settings. I mean, it's not a big deal so it could be done easily and uh usually if you're going to install this system and play with these dot files it kind of tells me that you know what you're doing because if you're a newbie trying to play with all this you're just going to give yourself a headache but anyways i wanted to show you the my linux for work dot files and they work great so you get options with the your apps you got your desktops so it's a pretty clean look you know what i mean if this is something you want to go for then by all means go for it um i usually stay away from these type of desktops because uh my workflow requires me to work in a different way and the way i got my system set up kind of fits that purpose but hey it, it does look great and uh it is awesome so uh i might put this on my on my on one of my laptops just so i can uh start getting used to this type of uh window manager you know just to get the get into the flow and uh try to up my game but uh yeah if you uh install hyperland and you want to set up some dot files those are two options that i put on there the my linux for work dot files and the jacoolit dot files but there's a whole bunch of them online all you got to do is quick google search uh most of them are on github and you'll find one just get clone it and set it up and uh away you go you just got to make sure that uh, they're for Arch Linux or whatever system you're on. Usually the dot files have a version for whatever system you're on. And, you know, you just find the right one. If you're on like an uh, Ubuntu based system or whatever, you can you can install the dot files. Hell, you don't even have to have Hyperland installed. You can install the dot files on any system and it'll pretty much put Hyperland on your system. That's how they kind of work. And uh, hey, it's pretty good. I mean, out of the box, you know, they look good. The way I have it set up out of the box is just a, you know, just a common thing to get you started. Then after that, you do whatever you want with it. And uh, these are some more options that I put on there so you can uh, play with it. All right, you guys. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, this version of uh, Linux Up Prime is going to be version 3.0.4. There's still a few things I'm working on, so uh, it'll be out soon, though. But I am working on some things on there. But uh, as you can see, uh, it works great. One of the things that I did add to Linux Hub is going to be Steam. And then because I did select the gaming helpers, we have Lutris. And there's some other thing. There's some uh, uh, Proton, some Proton installations, some Vulkan installations, things like that that are added in the background and uh yeah you can set up your system pretty nice with all these tools but uh like i said for now you know i'm still working on it i'll be working on it for a couple more days i want to make sure it's all it's all working well because uh my past uh, uploads i noticed that uh you know i basically have to check all of the desktop environments that i have on this one uh, iso and it is time consuming, but I finally gone through it. So it's all set up, all the installers work, everything should be working out of the box. All right. And if it's not, and no one tells me about it, then how am I gonna know, you know, what's wrong? A lot of times, you know, things do change. A lot of times these systems, uh, especially with Arch Linux, Arch Linux updates every single day and they're always changing things. So, you know, when these changes happen, I need to know about them. That way I can fix them as soon as I can. If I don't know about them, 
they're not going to get fixed. They're not going to get fixed until I find out what's wrong with them. But I uh, don't want to sound like I'm nagging here. You know, I'm just saying that, you know, hey, it doesn't hurt to, you know, say if you're using it, you know, hey, there's a problem here. And I'll go and fix it. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for the video. If you're uh, new to the channel, please uh, subscribe. If uh, you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like what you saw, give it a thumbs down. It's all for a game here on Linux Hub. All right, you guys, that's going to do it. And I'm out.